Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yuri the Blender Magus, and today we're going to be learning how to attach a weapon to your character so that you can take it off the character and switch it between either hand. What you'll need for this tutorial are a character, a rig for your character, a sword or some comparable weapon, and an intermediate understanding of Blender. The first step is to make four different bones. One bone that's your DEF bone for the sword, one bone to parent the sword to either hand, and one bone to parent the sword to the back. Next step is to check the bone rolls for all of these new bones for the hands in the back to make sure that they match with the sword's orientation in those positions. You can use the sword and place it in different positions to see what the bone rolls will be. The next step is to create a copy transform constraint for the sword DEF bone and make sure that you make a separate constraint for both hands and the back. Pay attention to the order that the constraints are placed in. Notice that the back transform constraint is at the very bottom. That means that that is the most recent one that's going to affect the sword. So you want to set your drivers up so that it turns off one after the other. The next step is to create two more bones. One to drive the sword from the back to the hands, and the other to drive the sword from the from one hand to the next. In the constraints menu, go to the influence, right click, and add a driver. Your driver setting should be as follows. You want to set your type to average value. You want to change your object to your specific rig name, change the bone to the bone that you named to transform the sword from the back to the hand. In this case, I named mine sword transform and change the X location to Y location and then change world space to local space and then update dependencies. Then go to driver settings and then go to the modifiers tab and then go to where the modifiers are and click add a generator. For the top numerical value, you want that to be one. And for the bottom numerical value, you want that to be negative five. Do this for all your different copy transform constraints and make sure that you map the bones according to what's driving them. Lastly, we need to parent our two new bones that drive the sword from its location. We need to parent those to our rig so that it moves along with our character. So parent the bone that drives the sword from the back to the hand, parent that to the chest, and parent the bone that drives the sword from either hand to the hips. That's just where we placed them, and I think that makes sense, and it generally works. The character moves just fine. And there you go. 
Uh, you really only need two constraints. One to turn off the back holding transformation and then one to turn off the other hands. So that's how you get the switch. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment and let me know if you have any questions or difficulty following along. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, feel free to join the Discord. There we share our artwork, you know, talk about stuff. Uh, trying to get more people in there to build a community. So I uh, appreciate you guys joining us. And uh, I'll try to stream sometime this week. So be looking out for that. All right, y'all. You have a good rest of your day. Peace. Ah!